Welcome back to Avo Tutorials. Today, I would like to share with you an automation solution to compare two CSV files and then having a new CSV file created with the differences. And all of this is done using Python. All right. Before I go into the tutorial, I think I will just show a quick demo of this whole solution. In this scenario, I have two CSV files, which are these two in my finder over here. This sheet contains all my customers who I have invited for my event. Then in the second sheet here, registered customers, this one, contains the two customers who have registered for the event. And now in my case, I want to resend another email to the customers who have not registered for the event. In this case would be people from this row onwards over here. Jeffrey until Jeff. I will open up my Python code over here and then all I have to do is run it. Now I can see the remaining customers have been filtered and saved. And when I go back to my finder over here, you can see that there's a new CSV file created today over here called remaining customers. And when I open it, and it contains the email addresses as well as the name, first name and last name of the people who have not registered for my event, which are these five people. Awesome. Okay, so this is the solution. And now let's jump into the tutorial. All right. By opening up the Python code, let me just go through this in a little bit more detail to help you understand and hopefully you'll be able to tweak it to your own scenarios and your own case. First things first is import pandas. If you have not installed pandas into your system, to do so, you just have to go to the folder that contains all your CSV files and your code, right click it, Go to new terminal at folder and then put pip install pandas and press enter. In my case, I've already installed it in my computer and that's why you can see like all of it is like requirement already satisfied. Okay, I'm just going to close that. So now once you have installed pandas, then you can import them in. Now the first three line of code here is to name your object. For example, I want to give my all customers CSV file a name. I'm going to call it all customers file. And I'll do the same for the registered customer CSV as well. The last one will be called the output file, which is the remaining customers, which are the differences between two CSV files. Once you have given the object names, then we will go into creating a function. So defining a function, and I have named this function, as filter remaining customers. You can name this whatever you want. At the end, you're going to call this function after you've defined it. Now in this function, you are going to include all three objects over here that you have already labeled at the top. Then the first step is to load in the data from the CSV files. So I have two CSV files. The first one is all customers, and I'm gonna read them in. Second one is registered customers, and I'm gonna read them in as well. Step number two, ensure the columns are properly named and ordered. Now over here, if you have not realized, in my all customer sheet, my header is email, first name, and last name. That's just how my company, you know, um, stores their data. But after I've invited people and downloaded um, who have registered for the event, Zoom from Zoom, and Zoom actually comes back with this format, first name, last name, and email. So in this case, I need to make sure I tell my code um, what are the headers. Yeah, you do not have to reshuffle them to make sure both are the same. You just have to make sure you put in the code and it's labeled correctly. Third thing, create a set of registered emails for a quick lookup. So this is like a whole set of people who have registered and this is going to come up from the registered customers list and from the email column then you will filter out the registered customers here's the remaining customers function um, whereby this code means that you are going to filter them out based on people who have registered you are pulling them out 
from the registered list from the all customers file. Last but not least, you would save the remaining customers file to a new CSV. So you need to put this to underscore CSV and then call it the output file because output file here, you have already named it as remaining customers.csv. So all you have to do is just put output file and then index false. And once that whole process is done, you can get the system to print remaining customers have been filtered and saved to output file. So here is going to be saved to remaining customers.csv. It was always dynamic. You don't have to hard code it over here. And once you're done defining your function, you can call it in, which is filter underscore remaining underscore customers. And this involve all three files that you have already defined above. Now to run this, you just have to go at the top here, click run, run module. Now, once that happens, you can see straight away, in just a couple seconds, it pops up. Remaining customers have been filtered, blah, 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 to the remaining customer CSV. Go back to your finder, and you can see it's been created. So it's right here. Now, when I open it up, it's correct. It's this five who have not registered for my event. And I can just straight away use this CSV to send out an email blast a second email blast to remind them that I have an event coming up. If you'd like to get the CSV samples and the code from here, you can actually head to the description link down below. You'll be led to this page over here where you can place your order and it does not cost anything, but I do really appreciate any contribution that you can give to help me maintain the channel and also give me a little bit of motivation to continue doing content for my channel over here on Avo Tutorials. So name a fair price and then click I want this, you will get it in your email. I really hope this was helpful. Please let me know in the comments down below if you have any other tutorials that you would like me to do. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!